Hello guys, today I want to show you how to customize various things in Breeze because there's not a lot of documentation on what to do after you install Breeze. It is a well-known starter kit, but what to do after you install it. So for example, when you register, I will use fake filler Chrome extension here. So you have an empty dashboard and how to add things here. I will show you in this video. So how to add a menu item here, how to add a menu item here, how to add a form here on the page, or a table or validation errors. This video would be especially useful for those who haven't adopted Tailwind CSS yet, because this would be a proof that you don't have to know deep Tailwind to be able to customize Breeze, because Breeze has a lot of ready-made components, blade components, which you can just use. So the first thing I wanna show you is how to add a menu item here. Let's open up a Breeze installation. And if you want to navigate the Breeze, we go to dashboard blade, and it extends app layout, which is blade component. And in app blade PHP, it's the main structure of Breeze. And on top of that, you have layouts navigation, which is exactly what we need to edit. Navigation, there's a navigation for the left part. We will get to that. And if we scroll down, we find out X drop down link. And this is a component that you can just copy and paste in here like this, but without any on click. And in here, you just put whatever route we want. So for example, let's create a route profile. And here we change that to profile, or my profile actually. And let's create that route in the routes web. So by default in Breeze, you have one page middleware by auth. Let's make it a route group, middleware auth, and then callback function. And then we add the dashboard inside of that group. And then we will add more pages here inside of it. We don't need middleware here because it's already for route group. And in here we create route view, profile, profile, like this. We don't need any controller here because in route view, we will access all the user object from auth user from the session. And let's give it a name of name profile. And let's refresh the page if we see that menu item refresh down we have my profile and you think we're done here but there's one more thing if we do like this the browser becomes mobile and there's no my profile here so we need to take care of the fact that we need to add that link in two places if we go to navigation blade there's x drop down link here and then also scroll down below x responsive nav link for the dashboard and down below that responsive nav link for the logout. So we need to do almost the same thing in here. Let's try it out, refresh the page, make the page smaller. And we have my profile here, which of course shows the error for now. And this is our next step, how to create a form in Laravel Breeze on a separate page. To create a new page in Laravel Breeze, I advise you to go to Resources Views Dashboard Blade and just make a copy of that. So file save as and whatever you want. So for example, Profile Blade. And then on top, you need to edit the title. So My Profile. And here you can do whatever you want. So for example, Profile will be here, something like that. And let's refresh our page. We have Profile will be here. And here I will save you some time and I've already pasted the form here. And as you can see, there are components being used. X label, X input, and at the bottom is X button. How does it look? It looks like this, a grid with four columns. All you need to know from Tailwind here is how to make a grid, which is this structure. So div class grid, columns two, rows two, and gap six. Everything else comes from the breeze itself. So label and input are components which you can find in resources, views, components. There's label here and there's input here. Also a few things are extra styled like password, new password and confirm password. And you would think it's a new thing, but no, it's actually from the registration blade. If we go to register blade, you can take some examples from here, how to style the inputs. So classes like this one, or required autocomplete or password confirmation, those ideas come all from registration. 
So now we have our profile. Everywhere here we're using auth username and auth user email. So we don't need to pass any user from the controller and we don't have any controller. For now, I made form action empty, but we need to add a route to post to. So let's make it route profile update. And in the routes web, let's have route put. I like to use the verbs like put if it's update. If it was a new record, it would be route post. So put to profile. Action would be now we do have to have controller and name profile update. And let's generate a controller. PHP artisan make controller profile controller like this. And now we can specify that it would be profile controller empty for now class and method update. Let's close the sidebar so you would see that. So profile controller and update and let's make it new line. Now we go to that profile controller, create the update method. As a parameter, we will have form request class, which I like to use for validation. So let's skip it for now. And let's generate the form request. PHP artisan make request update profile request like this and then we can use it here update profile request request and then we go here and change authorized to true and validation rules would be name required email required an email and then password for example minimum of six characters and let's make it confirmed which means the validation rules is confirmed which means that we need to have password and confirm password values fields with identical values otherwise validation rule would be fired so now in our controller we can use that request and let's stop it right here and let's talk about validation first so currently we're using our form request for validation but we don't show any validation errors here so for example, if we type in wrong password, it redirects back with error, but there is no error shown. If we go to register blade, there is a component that takes care of that. So on top of the form, you can see X auth validation errors. And let's try to copy that into our profile on top, and I will show you how it looks. So even before form, let's put it here. And let's try again, put something wrong. And we have password must be at least six characters and doesn't match. So this is a component that is a bit misleading with its title, auth validation errors. It's not auth validation errors, it's any validation errors. If we open up that component, all it does is work with errors for each and make a list. So why don't we rename that component into any validation errors? And I will do that outside of PHP store because it forces a lot of refactoring validation errors like this in the same components and then it is validation errors and in our profile let's rename that to x validation errors and also we need to rename that anywhere it was used so we should do multi replace in all the project replace in files x auth validation errors to just x validation errors because it is used in confirm password login register and others replace all and let's try it out if we didn't break anything. Refresh our page, enter something invalid, and it is still here. Great, now we have component that we can reuse in any page for validation errors. But let's style it a bit. It looks kind of bare bones without any styling. So I asked a few students of mine to try to create some Tailwind classes, and here's the result. So instead of that validation errors, I will just paste the actual code for styled things instead of error we do something like whoops something went wrong as it was something went wrong and now let's try to load that so let's try to enter something invalid and as you can see it looks much more like proper validation alert so if you have more tailwind css knowledge you can customize errors something like this and also let's take care of saving the data and add a similar alert for success message. So in our controller, let's add auth user update. And then we pass in request only keys of name and email. And if we do have password, so if 
request input password. Then we also auth user update password be crypt. So crypt the password to request input password like this. And then we do what? Return redirect, probably redirect back to route of profile with success message. So with message profile saved successfully like this. Also, we don't need that one. I see PHP storm underlying that. And let's try it out. So we pass in good password and it still says confirmation doesn't match. Let's open up the documentation of validation rule. Confirmed. Oh, it should be confirmation, right? So I've mixed up. It's not confirm password. It should be password confirmation. Like this. Let's refresh the page again and enter valid password. And now, as you can see, it's redirected back without any message. And let's add a message on top. And for that, we will create a separate component. So X validation errors. Let's try to create X success message, success message. Without any errors, we will get to that from session. And let's create success message component. So we just go to validation errors blade and do save as success message blade like this. And we don't need props errors. Here we check if session message, then we have success. And then for each of the errors, we don't need that. We just need session message. Let's refresh that. And we have profile saved successfully. We only need to change the icon and the color. So I will do again, copy paste from my student's code and change this to session message again. And in here we would have like this. So it would be translatable success. And I think that's it. Let's try again. Great profile saved successfully. Probably we need to add a margin here, margin bottom margin bottom four like this. Yep, now it looks better. So we have validation errors component and success message component, again, which we can reuse in any of our future pages. One more small thing I would like to change is I would use class margin bottom only inside of that validation errors. So if there are errors, we show the div with margin bottom. Otherwise, we would have margin without any purpose. So like this. And also I would question actually if we do need that props errors. I'm not sure, maybe you can correct me in this video in the comments, but I don't think we use that because it comes from the session from Laravel by default. Let's try it out. Let's make some validation error and let's see if it actually works. It does still work. So we don't need that properties. Again, shoot in the comments if I am wrong here and we do need to pass those properties. Next, let's add a menu item here, which will show some kind of table that we can edit. And I've chosen a simple example of list of tasks and I've prepared most of it. So in artisan command, I've made a command model task and it generated the migration, the seeder, the controller. And in the controller, we have task paginate and view tasks index, which is empty for now. List coming soon, but it was created by going to dashboard blade and doing file save as, as we've done for the profile. Now let's run the migrations and seeds, php artisan migrate dash dash seed. Now let's create routes web for route resource for it. So route resource tasks task controller class like this. Again, close the sidebar to make it more viewable. And now we need to link the menu item on top to tasks.index. So we open our navigation blade and scroll up. We have the dashboard link here. But that's the logo link. And here we have xnav link. So we just copy the dashboard, route tasks index, active request route is tasks index. And then the title should be tasks. And let's refresh. 
we refresh and we have tasks here. And if we click, we have a list coming soon. Now, how do we make a table here in Tailwind CSS? Breeze doesn't have any component for the table, but luckily we can be saved by Tailwind UI library by Adam Watton. And one of the free components there is the table. So this is the preview, this is how it works. And we can copy the code from here, copy into our index blade. Instead of list coming soon, we just paste the table as it is and we will edit that in a minute and let's refresh. Refresh and we have the table. Now let's edit what we need here. So column names, we don't need the title, we don't need the role, we just need name and edit. And then in tbuddy for each of the tasks, for each of the tasks as task, we show the role for that task. And for each here, then we basically delete everything that is not needed. I would actually leave only one field of this admin and have task name here and then route tasks edit with task with route model binding. And that's it, I guess. Let's refresh the page and we'll have our tasks list without the pagination. So let's add the pagination at the bottom tasks, links, that's default Laravel behavior, and probably should be down below under that div. Again, this was good, just we need to add some margin. So div class margin top four, for example, and then links inside. Refresh. Yeah, it looks better. And pagination works, by the way, if you go to page two, it also exists. So this is how you can easily style a simple table. And that's it for this lesson. For homework for you, you can finish that CRUD of create, update, delete, and all of that, reusing the components of validation errors and success message. So that would be a good practice for you. I don't want to present you everything ready-made because the essence of learning for a developer is actually practicing, not just watching YouTube videos. My goal was to show the components, the different logic, how to add something in Breeze. What do you think about Laravel Breeze after watching this video? Will you use it? Or maybe have you used it? And what is your impression about it? Let's discuss in the comments. And if you have more ideas for upcoming videos, also shoot in the comments as usual. I'm reacting to all of that. I don't promise anything because I have a huge list already of topics, but I'm open for discussions. And if you want to support me on this mission of shooting daily videos, check out one of the three products that you can see on the screen, my courses, admin panel generator for Laravel and Livewire kit set of components. See you guys in other videos.